so hello subscriber today our topic is protective grounding requirement for a transmission in the distribution lines introduction to the protective grounding the technical technical covers protective grounding requirement for a steel tower wood pole supported transmission distribution lines insulated power cables protective grounding must be installed so all the faces of a line or a cable are visible and effectively bounded together in a multi face shot and connected to the ground earth it when they there are installed or at a work site single face grounding of a multi face circuit is prohibited conductive objective within a reach of any worker either aerial or in a ground should be bounded to their grounding system therefore a sufficient quantity of a protective ground should be installed at the work site in a manner that place them directly in a shunt with an all point of a contact by our workers means a requirement of a grounding or any of a protection is a protection and the safety of a worker that worker is a working on the device device or in a tower or a wooden poles to cover them from a shock the earthing must not be used as a protective grounding conductor or as a part of a circuit path between the protective ground in their respect means it is a not a protective device or anything but it's a path to flow the short circuit connect between the short circuit and the ground installation of a protective ground or a power line structure creates an equipment safe work zone on the structure how ever without benefit of installing ground mates hazardous hazardous spread touch and transfer touch rotational may exist on the ground near a structure footage footage and the object to bounded to the work site grounded system during an accidental energization of a line earth ground is a path which is safely to the work or create the safe zone for a worker to control the electricity keep in a mind that the when ground fault can flow flow there will be a voltage rise at the, every connection to the earth no one should approach to within a 10 feet of a protective ground structure or other conductive object which has been bounded to the work site grounded system unless the protective measures are in a place to reduce the hazardous of a step and the touch the voltage otherwise only only when necessary to gain the access to the structure from the ground the lineman must be approached quickly and mounted or dismounted at the base of the structure when any condition of a short circuit or any fault current current don't touch the earth it will be clearly that the line has been isolated and about after a uh, 10 feet and the 10 minute don't touch the electrical circuit when their voltage and their current will be reduced thanks for watching my video keep subscribe me and keep touch with me we are giving that type of video every day Thank you for watching
some people are thinking a uh, different questions about the grounding what is the protective grounding personal protective grounding bounding technique provide the shock protection from electrical workers from working on a de-energized equipment when a circuit has been properly grounded from a production of a workers and it accidentally become an energized the voltage on the system sags to zero means if a line line will be operated without information from that worker which is working on a device if any accidentally operate that that any accident will be not done within a that worker which is working on a device current in the voltage has been goes to the toward the earthing and grounding side and worker will be safe and other one question are that our power lines will be grounded or not more about the grounding and the wire grounding soil is not used in as a conductor for a power line grounded in a medium or a high voltage grids is not carrying sufficient power in a normal condition high voltage power lines are a three phase current flow many mainly between the faces and the ground is a just referred as a zero for the them and if if you have a proper grounding you have a need to be uh, required as a resistance of a 1 ohm 1 ohm only a resistance for earthing i think if the if any in, resistance will be goes toward the infinity it's an okay but not maximum about 1 ohm and other people are thinking about the what is the grounding lines for electricity in a electrical engineering ground or earth is a reference point in a electric circuit from which voltage are measured or a common return path for a electric electric or electric current are direct physically connected to the earth electrical circuit may be connected to the ground or earth for several reasons